Hello friends, welcome to Unity 3D Teacher Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to see about how to use a Facebook SDK in order to make a login, get friends and registering a app events with the Facebook. We are going to see. So first of all, go to the developer.facebook.com and then choose for a SDK. So we have the letter is SDK. So I am going to download that particular SDK called 9.00. Go to the import package, custom package, and then try to import it. Okay. Before that, we are going to do one more settings. So we are going to switch the scene first. So let me switch the scene to Android. And then let's change the company name and the product name. Okay, everything is done now and then now let's import the package so please please wait for a while so package will take some time to get updated okay so it will take small amount of a time to update everything so once it's done go to facebook edit settings okay Okay, so once it's done, you will get that information library processing completed. Next, what we are going to do is so we are going to choose build settings. So inside that build settings, we are going to have our product name. Okay, and then in Facebook developer, we are going to choose which options we require for us. So, generally, I am just choosing build connected experience. So, you just choose depending upon your recommend. So, we are going to have our Facebook app name over there in app display name. And then create a app click on create app so it's making Facebook is not allowed so we want to change our app name to a different since Facebook name terms they don't allow okay okay it's done now in the product you are going to add Facebook login okay so before set up in the product we want to do one more thing so go to the dashboard and go to the settings basics so here you can find the display name let's change the display name, display name to
unity 3d teacher test so again uh, android dependencies will start checking the product and re-import the packages okay next let's copy the app id and go to the facebook settings inside that unity so we want, we are going to link our facebook developer account with our unity sdk so in order to know that facebook that we are a right user to call a particular data so that's why we are doing so here you want to link your app id so client token is not required okay next we want to get some more things from here so first thing was so let's check it out what are all the recommends we want to add over there first thing is package name so before that just let's choose the category games okay after that click on add platform so here you want to have any types of settings which you like to have and then just add the package next we need a class name similarly class name you can get from that unity is dk so copy the class name next key ash again copy the key ash and add it over there okay so we got a package name and the class name and then key ash so we got all the things and then click on save changes so let's change the country name again okay we need to choose subcategory okay there is no any other change required let's change the category type maybe role playing will be too okay so yes we want to use this package so if it is live we can change the package later okay so if you see everything has been set up now so we are good to go we don't want to do any more changes so let's we go through this if you see the Facebook login in the setting also is done. So we added the setting now. Let's see go through. So we download the SDK first and script side we have already have. And then we added a default Android class name which is used inside the Unity and then key hash which is provided by Facebook SDK. So these are the script steps. So we don't want to worry about since we already have a predefined script which I made everything ready for you. So the script will be found in description. You don't want to worry about the script things. So this is it. This is it. So everything is done. Maybe I will go through one more time. class name and then package name and then key ash that's it so once you done everything you don't want to worry about the things 
since everything has been set perfectly okay okay it's fine now it's good to go to unity and then we will stop so these are the other project products which we can use uh, other uh, things like uh, instagram and then fundraiser etc so we don't want to use we need only a login system for facebook for our unity so next what i'm going to do is i have a predefined script i'm going to attach the script in the description please click this script and make use of it. okay so the other script so this is located some of the inputs in unity so first is profile picture in order to show that image to that user particular user once you log in we need to show your profile picture so i am making a profile picture next we are going to have a text So the text is going to have a name and then the button we are going to have two types of button one was login and another one is logout because user can able to log in the facebook and log out the facebook inside the app so while leaving the app you can either out due to the security system so we are giving a bot system to the app so that the user can make use of it So let's rename the placeholder everything DP drag and drop the DP and then name drag and drop the name okay so hit play before that you want to make sure that water will be have in script and we are going to connect in button so demo facebook login okay so let's go through the script and let's see what inside the script before we are going to do that functionality okay so if you see in have a we have a facebook init statement once init is done script will start activating the facebook and fetch the data since this is a app event so i'm not going to use we are going to use an editor so i'm just disabling this function i have one more function for to use in unity for login system that is this thing okay so let's enable this So once init is called, it will check for a login and will do. And then it will call set init and from there it will go for next navigation called deal with menus. Okay, FB menus. So we have two system. One was display name profile picture. So once display name is fetched. The profile picture also fetched so this thing will be happen once you log in the system only so we are going to do a login first okay okay i forget to make connectivity for logout let's connect logout okay hit play
so after that graph interface will be open you want to grant the permission to get a token so click on grant then you will get a token you want to copy the token and paste in the graph api click send success that's it you got your profile picture and name everything so if you log out that i will be logged and again you can able to show the profile picture and the name to the user over login they can able to do that so if you see once login it will successfully fetched the profile photo and the username so that's it friends if you think this video is very helpful for you please subscribe as more video is coming on facebook system thank you and thanks for watching and see you in next video bye